Hi guys, I never thought I'd be doing a video about hair, um, but I've learnt a few things recently that I thought was significant enough to tell you about. So, where shall I start? Um, I think I will start with um, moving to France and over the summer everything was fine. And then um, I started worrying that too much of my hair was falling out, literally quite large clumps every time I had a shower. And uh, I'm sad enough to have saved some hair for you. I've now got it down to this much coming out. Can you see that? That is hardly any hair. I'm really proud of my scalp because <laughs> um, I've never had such little amount of hair coming out um, when I wash it and I only wash my hair once a week so I think that's amazing. So what I have done differently to get to that place. Um, number one, I bought this brush a long long time ago. Um, I was probably about 15, I'm now 35. So yes it's very old but it's still looking in quite good condition. Um, these spikes coming out are made of plastic and this is wood. Um, over the years I've now got about four broken ones and one that totally came out and I thought okay I think it's about time I got a new one. Uh, and I was in Biocop, uh, a good organic -y type alternative shop in France and I found this which is made of beech wood, uh, brosse large picot bois Être ciré. Uh, so if you know what that means you can get one of these <laughs> but it's made with beach and um, I didn't think it would change the life of my hair but actually it's done a huge amount. So I will start with what most people say is start with the ends and work up. So I won't show you all of this because it's going to get very boring if you watch me brush all of my hair um, but when I get up to my scalp it feels really nice, it kind of does massage your head. I got the wider option rather than the narrow because I know that I'm growing my hair quite long and um, yeah, I've got quite a lot of it so I need a bigger brush. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so my hair's brushed and that's how much hair came out. I'll just show you. Okay, so um, that's not too bad. That's most of it from the brush. Um, but when I used to use this brush, loads more than that used to come out. Um, the other thing um, that's really different that I wasn't doing before is when I was washing and shampooing, um, I would literally get my head with the shampoo and I'd like totally kind of, you know, get it all messy all over the place, bring all the top bits up and like really mess it around. <laughs> um, and um, I started doing some research on YouTube with other girls and um, they told me how to wash my hair and no one's ever done that before. So I started trying it and oh my God, it's made such a difference. So um, this is the shampoo that I use. Pure enough stuff, ylang ylang and lime. It's got um, hardly any ingredients at all. Bit of water, a few other things, not very much. It's a great brand um, for natural shampoo. So um, with that, I literally just put it on my scalp to here and I smooth it down. And then I just kind of gently rub um, everywhere. But I'm not trying to make a big soapy mess. <laughs> Um, so I think that really helps with when I actually get around to brushing it when it's drier after the um, my shower um, that yeah I'm not trying to get out loads of knots because I haven't made it knotty in the shower and then with my conditioner um, which I've had for ages it's quite an old bottle now because I don't use very much um, but I just put a tiny bit from this part of my hair all the way to the ends. So shampoo, top half, conditioner, bottom half. Easy peasy. The other thing I used to do is um, get my towel 
and when I get out of the shower, I'm literally just, I don't want to do it. I just used to kind of rub my towel like this. I'd get my hair upside down, do more rubbing on the other side and get it as dry as I can. And then um, sometimes I'd just leave it to um, dry naturally. And sometimes if it was cold in the winter, I would use my um, hair dryer. Um, but now I don't use any heat at all, um, which I think is rather helpful for your hair. It doesn't dry it out and um, make it all split endy and everything. Um, so now, instead, with my towel, I get it on my head, like this, and I literally just pass it down, like that, and I grab it, and I just kind of squeeze, 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 all the way to the end of my hair, and I probably do that about um, four or five times, and kind of let the moisture go down, and then just do it again, and then all the ends... Um, don't kind of drip with wetness. My hair feels then pretty towel dry, but I'm not mashing it around. <laughs> um, so that's toweling. Now um, I'll talk to you about protective hairstyling, darling. Um, I didn't know there was such a thing until about a month ago when I was doing this research. Um, so now I've changed the way I style my hair. So number one, um, I either leave it down, and it's getting longer now, I don't know if you can see, that's how long my hair is now, and I actually haven't cut it for six months, because um, I'm trying to grow it, and uh, I might even cut it myself the next time I cut it, because I've um, found out how you can do that, I could do a video on that if you're interested. Um, so protective hairstyling, number one, hairbands, make sure you don't have any metal on them, very important. Um, the next one I do, it looks like this. So apparently the Miss Pepper Pot bun is um, a great way to not harm your hair. Because I'll show you how I used to do it that was really quick and easy in the morning, but I don't think it's very good for your hair. So I'll show you what that looked like. So it's the one where you make a ponytail but instead of going all the way through, you just pass it over like that. And I used to do that a lot, just because it's so quick and easy. But it's kind of breaking your hair in one, two, all sorts of places. So I've stopped doing that. And the third one is basically just a plait like that. And um, some ladies put their hairs in plaits to sleep. Um, but their hair might be kind of past their waist or something. I don't think I really need to do that yet because it's not long enough. Um, but yeah, you can do a plait anywhere on your head <laughs> and that will be fine. It's protective. It's not harmful. It's kind of, you know, a bit loose. Um, I've got very, um, what do you call it, layered hair. So that's why my plait's got a bit sticking out. But um, yeah. The other thing that's great is to get some um, coconut oil or argon oil, um, any nice smelling oil works, um, but just put it on the ends a bit. Um, I haven't done that for ages and I probably should, um, but I wouldn't go higher than this point with your oil, otherwise your scalp's going to get too, too oily. Um, so just a tiny bit, rub it in your hands first and then um, kind of comb it through with your fingers. Um, so, yeah, um, I've had all sorts of crazy journeys with my hair because five years ago um, I got my first bipolar episode and um, I was put on some really strong medication, olanzapine and then lithium. Um, and during about two years, I'd say, I had extreme hair fallout. So um, I would literally get this much hair um, kind of quite compact and wet from the shower um, coming out every time I washed my hair and at that point I was probably doing it every four days and then I would brush my hair and I'd get the same amount come out from brushing my hair so it was much much thinner around here it got really really thin it hasn't still properly um, grown back very well but around here it looked much thinner than it does now and I'd grab it here and it would just feel really pathetic um, 
But yeah, so it took a while for me to recover from the medication and the shock of having an episode. Um, I had another episode two years after my first one. Um, and that wasn't as bad with the hair loss. Uh, so, yeah. I'm still on lithium now. But um, one of the other amazing things that I do that helps with my hair is this. The way I eat. <laughs> so here I have a platter of chia seeds for um, detoxing anything that my body doesn't need. I've got um, two lots of fruit, apples and pears for my calorie intake. I've got some wheatgrass for my green goodness. Um, this is powdered up um, tournesol seeds of uh, sunflower. And I've got um, these ones, the little green ones. And I've got four almonds all fantastic for you, and some walnuts and two Brazil nuts. They've all got different things in um, to help my body be healthy and um, hopefully live a long time. Um, the other thing is I don't um, drink caffeine of any sort or tannin, um, I don't drink alcohol, um, I don't smoke anything, I don't take drugs apart from lithium and um, I drink water that's sat in here for at least 20 minutes. Um, sometimes I drink it straight from the tap, but it's better to let water sit um, and it's even better if it's in copper or some kind of good metal. Um, it tastes much better and it's got a different quality. Um, I'm sure there's all sorts of videos you can look up to find out more about water. Um, I can put some links below and um, yeah, I hope that was kind of interesting and that you learned something from that. And, um, yeah, I don't think you need any more hair videos from me. <laughs> One's more than enough. And, uh, yeah, good luck with your hair journey. And um, the only reason why I really did it is because no one really showed you how much hair comes out. And I've uh, actually done that, so I can show you what hardly any hair looks like. Um, so I hope my description was full enough and um, I'll see you with my next video. Bye.